Now we're back in the game. I apparently changed clothes. I was gonna give some money to the camp funds. Good morning, Arthur. Morning. We all got a pair of dues, huh? This chick just sits here. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Why are you giving me looks all the time? How's this shit not blown away yet? Leave me some space. I wasn't even coming in here to see you. I was coming in here to try to turn music on. Do you, Arthur? Yeah, bitch, I do. Hey! Oh. <sighs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, Fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Like normal roads. Lady, what's up, Sally? That's a song. <laughs> I got a girl in Fairyville. Can't be screwed because she's too damn ill. So I don't go down there no more. But this blue horse lives outside her door. I got a girl in Valentine. Likes to drink that fancy wine. Blue in her hat was two feet tall. Cracking her pants, they pour it on. 
Come on, Sally. Stop putting your butt on me. What's up with the cats and the butts? What's up with the cats and the butts, Sally? Me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. Always look both ways in Rockstar games. Hey, easy now. Easy, easy. I want to say no problem, but shit. This is rock star. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. No problem. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't have anything to rob anyway. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. Fuck you think we no. should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. This game sure shit is ambitious. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Just 
just like I said, cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Damn. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Two what do you reckon? Lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't know what that smell is. Well, that's all right. He's all right. 50 cents? That's like a real fucking... What's up, Milton? I already bought one of those. Or got one. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. Yeah, you have it going. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Dude, what did Gentlemen, he do? I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Diné and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. Why? Seemed easy. <coughs> they have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Yeah, you know there is. <laughs> there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been looking too long. <clears throat> Get your hands off me, mm. friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? I'm gonna fucking kill you. You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. 
I ain't doing this with you. Go right. away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. <laughs> All right. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake. <laughs> Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. No problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You can a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary. <laughs> silencer I'll just defuse the situation and leave it alone get your hands off me you thought I wouldn't find you Tilly huh? you can go kiss a dick get your hands off mm. I do have a knife who are you and get off her Or what exactly? You wanna find out? Come on, man. I'll show you. You're making a big mistake, you already made the Jackson. mistake. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away right with Uncle. Now. Beth, they're across the street. Okay. Whatever. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle, look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Out of the way. Why on earth would you Can I help you, sir? Play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but 
This is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Staff treats. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Give more. Here. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me out. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now, please pull me up. Please. Please. Can't hold on much longer. I can't hold shit. Um, didn't it say hit X? Hit X. Yep. Oh, that's probably what I should have done anyway, is kill that motherfucker. Problem, huh? Hey, my horse! 
Walks there. Through here like you. Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Go by that gun Howdy. shop. How's it going? New to the shop? Okay, now let me see. And peace. Sweet. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. It's yours now. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Was that? Any information about anything, anything at all, you give me 15, a shout. Jesus. Mm, whatever. It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. Jesus. Fifteen dollars. I shouldn't have bought that, but we'll see what's up. Sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. A fucking free shotgun. Is that cause special edition or something? Smile on your face, guaranteed. Or is this a pump action rifle? You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. I need to go sell some shit. You wanna make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving.
Damn, I might even see how much that was. Fuck. Well, with Valentine connecting the west to the east, they get a lot of passing folks stocking up on bullets and weapons. Some of them may belong to a gang. Hey, how would I know? If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Good, good. Wait to give this a try. Man, that's cool too. I can just grab it. Damn, I just spent some Thank hours. you for your help. Evening, friend. Welcome back, sir. Righty. Let's see what you're selling. This shit's only worth ten dollars. Prices are as listed. Uh, I don't negotiate. Assistance. Look out. you to uh to meet our friend pleased to meet you well you just a toughest tick mountain man oh you be quiet anastasia anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat exactly yes he's a pussy cat and that's so worth her whatever you say how much you cost anyway well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady oh i didn't know i was talking to a lady excuse me Hey, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. There he is. 
Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch? Oh, 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 we have our answer. <laughs> Fucking punch. Oh. Stop dancing around and fight. You tell me Dude, I've already been in fights. Why are you showing me this? Come on, hit me. Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Joe Satriloni. The very same. <laughs> I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. 
You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Not really sure I give a fuck. And Charles, I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Uh, that is not clean. I'm gonna loot these motherfuckers. Can't loot these guys. That sucks. Where's like an actual bathhouse? Say something to me. Move. Hmm. Listen, if I can't see your face. I ain't interested. a pass to a local the other day. They won't forget the Driscoll. Tabs 
<laughs> Man, are they back at home? Is my horse. Out of the damn way. supposed to fucking do morning sir Why would it leave me without a ride? You arrange a bath, I need a wash. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Dude, did not mean to get out. But whatever. been in Valentine so long, I just don't see myself anywhere else. Thanks, mister. Fuck, I need a horse.
Let's go. Whoever you are, I don't want any trouble, right? Whew. Very much that shocks me either. Please don't do this. I never would have seen it coming. <laughs> I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Well, I got us a horse, that's something. some speaking to do of your own not that old gang of yours I said I told you I don't know nothing that's what I thought whoa hold your horses there it seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue I was thinking mr. Williamson could have a word you ready to talk boy I told you mister I told all of you I don't know nothing okay they ain't no friends of mine I just Ridden with them for a Horse while. Shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. 
I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, huh. Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. It is early in the morning. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. Are you sure as sh... It was. John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You gotta pay your buddies our respect. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. There's Come on. I'm horse. taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right. I'll leave. Saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one and you smell like God damn. You smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan! You got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up. You already got the fear of God in me. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Morgan! You didn't tell me what the O'Driscoll smelled like before you asked me to ride with him. That's because you wasn't asked to ride with us. You was told. Well, I smell like a stall ain't been cleaned out in a month. I smell like that because you had me tied up there about as long. You'd be smelling worse if we'd done what someone was arguing for. Granted, granted, I was in with a bad lot. I'm trying to make amends if I can. You don't know the half. I do know Combe killed Dutch's sweetheart. And that's the man you chose to ride with, a woman killer. Well, it was after he killed his brother. And the way I understood it, the... Making excuses for the man and his crimes. What kind of trap you leading us into, boy? I ain't. I'm trying to help, honest. One thing goes wrong. One thing other than you smelling funny, you're the first no Driscoll will shoot. Now we go yeah. left. Uh, the road will take us up and round. from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us, then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard, fighting the law, nature. You're out for yourselves. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... 
Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boss, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he would shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. Settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin. Just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey, there, there, you see? Okay. Get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Let's get closer. Get him in the throat so they can't yell. That one went through his eye. What's 
the call. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I swear. I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are. At least you got something tucked away. Where 
damit. Ah. just dropped my other gun on the ground. Oh, those are free anyway. we rode that far with him or we cut through some other place or something.
That's gonna have to do it for this episode.